Hi YouTube, I'm Dylan, I'm back, and in this returning video, I'm going to be showing you all how to draw Spongebob Squarepants from his titular franchise. So get a pencil, get a nice piece of paper, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and let's begin. Now Spongebob is a sponge, so we're starting out with, we're going to be drawing a bunch of square-like shapes to start with his body. So we got one end right here. It's almost like a it's almost like a cube of cube or a slab shape. So it's basically like a solid square. So that's the basic parts of his body. Then we gotta draw some stick lines so that we know how his legs, we're gonna have him look like he's running a bit so we can give it a more interesting drawing. And then nearly, like near the middle, we draw sticks for his arms and legs. These are his arms. Okay, so we've broken down our basic shapes. Now we need to draw in his eyes. And his eyes are almost these, they're almost perfect circles. And they sort of go together. They go like this, but make sure you save a little bit of room. And then right near here, this is going to be his nose. Just like that. And his nose is like this. And like I always say, draw loose and light at first, but when you get the lines you want, you darken them up. So I'm going to darken one eye right here for now. And then you're going to draw this kind of sideways oval, but don't close it up. That's his, his cheek. And then we can darken this eye right here for the, to finish those off. And then we draw three lines coming out from the top. Those are his eyelashes. And then draw these sort of kind of oval shapes for the, the irises of his eyes. And then put one right there as well. Put another oval inside for the pupils. Then put these white little circles inside for the highlight marks and then color and everything else. And then right inside, we're gonna draw two stri We also gotta get his other cheek as well, like this. Here's the line right there. Then we draw a large U-shape. That goes like this. gonna get those we're gonna give him a nice big smile so we're gonna draw another large 
and long U shape for his mouth. And then right here, you're going to draw two square shapes for his teeth that go like this. And then before we get the rest of his mouth, we got to draw these two curves for his tongue. And then we're going to draw the this kind of shape here for the throat of his mouth. And then we can go ahead, take the side of our pencil and fill that in. Always use the side of your pencil when shading. Otherwise your pencil will break and you'll hurt your hands. Okay, and then maybe for one final touch to his cheeks, we'll just draw these freckles. Let go like this. And then maybe we'll put like a lower lip underneath his mouth. Just like that. Okay. Next, we need to draw the rest of his body and define it. But first, we're going to draw these circles. There are like four of them on each side, but this side's going to have only one because he's turned because he's well a sponge put one up here put one here and then put one right here and then draw his then we need to put these kind of curves around his body because this is his, uh, to make him look like a literal sponge. Curve up here. Let's get the one on this side right here. Put more up here. All like that. And then we got to get the rest of his sponge-like body just like that so we got his body now we need to get the side of his body so these curves are a little complicated so take your time you may need to pause the video in a few places and then leave the little space open because that's where we're going to put his sleeve eventually And put a curve right here. And there, this side has circles just like the front. Put one, two up here. Before we get to his arms and legs, we are going to draw his clothes. So we need to draw this half circle. That's going to be the knot of his tie. And then a diamond shape for the tie itself. And then we're going to put triangles on the bottom of both sides. Then we're going to draw a straight line going through. And then we also need to draw his pants. So we're gonna draw another rectangles. Well, to basically a rectangle on this side and one here. We'll just, let's just go ahead and lightly indicate uh, 
pant leg on this side right there get his leg coming out that way We need to get the bottom side of his legs, well the bottom part of his pants, but before we get to the rest of his, to his limbs, we need to draw these squares that are, go through the tie, that's like his, his belt, so we're going to put some, two squares on both sides. Make sure there's a little space between the squares so that because those are the belt loops. Draw one rectangle this way. We'll fill the color those in. Okay, now. It's time to draw his body, the rest of his body. So we'll start with the legs. You're gonna draw these sort of like cone shapes. And before you draw the leg itself, put a like a comma shape there, then draw one side of the leg. And make sure that's when you draw the leg, make sure the, the line sticks out a bit on both sides to look like it's wrapping through. Then his legs are and arms are really skinny. They're not muscular or thick or th a little less thin. Then we draw the other pant leg that's going downwards. Since this one's facing up and this one faces down, you're just gonna draw two parallel lines and a curve that go like that. Darken these lines here. We're going to draw the other, we're going to draw the other leg. And then we need to get his shoes. So we're going to draw these small little circles just for a guide. I'm going to darken the top. And then I'm going to draw kind of another oval. Actually, two more ovals that will look like this. We're going to draw a half circle at the bottom because his shoe's sticking up. Put a square right here for the bend, and then you're gonna draw the bottom of this foot, darken the top side of the foot. Then you're gonna put a little white circle there for the highlight of the shoe. Take the side of your pencil and color that in. And if you want, you can shade the bottom gray like that. And then one last detail, you gotta put a line up here for his socks and then stripes. And similar thing with this side, you're just gonna draw a curve, a curve there for the sock, draw a circle, draw this kind of, almost like a number six shape Then put a square at the bottom, just like this. Put a highlight right there. And then take the side of your pencil and shade in his shoe. And 
and that's his those are his legs next we are going to draw in his arms so you're going to draw a sleeve shape similar to the leg and we'll do the same thing that's like this one just draw this kind of stretched out u shape give a light color there put that sort of comma there and let's get on to the arms so we'll draw one small straight line at the bottom one bigger one at the top his forearm we could put a light kind of square then we draw the back side of his hand he only has three fingers so you're going to draw this shape here it's like a sort of a number put a fold line there put his middle finger and his pinky just like that and we'll do a similar thing with the other side we're almost done we're gonna draw his upper arm right here both arms are gonna be facing the same direction draw two parallel lines like it here's his pinky his middle finger and his pointer finger the fold line his thumb and connect it all the way there and if you want you can go ahead take the side of your pencil and maybe fill those circles on his body gray if you want to color your drawing, you can use green. This is a drawing, and drawings are supposed to be fun. And maybe you could also fill in the mouth too. And there you have it. You have your very own drawing of SpongeBob SquarePants. Hope you all had fun. We'll see you next time.